Okay, okay, okay. We back in business. All right, look at this, right? Now, right, if you see this, it, it theoretically looks like a pump. You see the 777? That was a fucking accident. You already know. This is God's scent, bro. Just listen to what I'm saying. I ain't no financial if fuck advisor. So look at this shit, right? Now, how, how I make my trades, right? Just so y'all could learn off of me. I look at everything that's been going on. As you guys can see, you can't really make predictions on this as you could. Let's say you had some Bitcoin, right? Let's say you had some Bitcoin and you could you could always make a like a theory on whether or on where the line is going or on where the numbers is going. You could always you see the dip right here. That's where you place it. Right. So a lot of people bought it here and that's what made the price skyrocket. And then a lot of people sold once they saw the profits, which made it fucking go down again. That's when people bought it again. More people sold. More people bought again. And that's why the price continues to keep rising. And now they send out notifications saying, hey, everybody, Bitcoin's up. That's the reason it's up. Now, with this, right, there's not a lot of data on it. So you can't really tell. It's extremely volatile. And it's hard to see. As you can see, in the past week, went from 004, bro. All the way up to 24. I don't know if I could read you right there. Y'all saw it. That's point. That's 2.2K. Now, if we go to the calculator, right? And we do the math, right? Let's say you put $1,000. And you got a 2K return, right? I'll just put 22222. More angel numbers coming your way. Y'all blessed just watching me. All right. And we put that in percentages and we multiply it from one thousand dollars. Y'all is making twenty two thousand. My nigga, does that make sense? So now if we go back to the chart lines, right, as you can see, because this one just recently started getting more traction on it. Uh, as you can see, within the past day, because of how volatile crypto is, literally went from 17 plus all the way down to 11. This is where I bought the dip. I bought the dip like right around this area right and then it keeps dipping bro which is a good thing a lot of people see that and they they, they start getting fucking anxiety right and they start getting scared and they're like oh guys cut it short try to sell your profits like nigga no don't do that dumb shit don't listen to that stupid shit once it's down that's when you buy it let's look at dogecoin as an example because a lot of people don't understand this. I want to put y'all on game. Let's look at Dogecoin as an example, right? If we go to year to date, this is when it was completely talked about, all right? So when it was never talked about, whoop de whoop de whoop Let's look at when it was talked about the most. It was at 74 cents. Oh, my fucking God. Stop sending me a message. God damn, I'm in the middle of something. You don't see me? Let's look at, look, let's look at this, right? It went up to 34 cents. And it dipped because a big holder of it, right, sold the profit. And because of that, what happens is a lot of people lose money. So when people see the dip, they get scared and they're like, oh, sell off everything. Make sure you don't lose money. But if those dumbass niggas would have waited like a month, actually, let's see, waited a week. If they waited a week, the people, the dumb motherfuckers that sold when they saw this scary ass dip, if they would have waited a week. They would have tripled, no, nah, actually doubled their profits. Well, maybe it would have been like 2.5 their profits. Instead of selling it for less. You guys got to use your head. The dip is not a bad thing. As you can see, look, it had another dip. Now, this was, this was all the hype around it, which is what made it so fucking big. It dipped. And then uh, what had happened was it's recently started getting back to something more consistent, like a... 0.32 but it's been like a few months since the actual hype but that was caused and that made everything go down because the economy crashed i believe and that made the bitcoin economy crash as you can see bitcoin went from sixty four thousand all the way down to thirty thousand but if we look back in history bitcoin went to fifteen thousand dollars and dropped to six thousand now you think Everybody who fucking sold is fucking proud of themselves right now. Because if they would have waited two years and held on to it, they would be a fucking millionaire. Does that make sense?